Hey, Jason with Pedal Medics here. Today we're going to demonstrate one of our kind of oddball products here. Um, we had a customer reach out talking about auxiliary switches for different products, whether the Strymon Big Sky, your Morningstar controller, uh, the RC600 Boss Loopers, just a bunch of different kind of auxiliary switches and how a lot of them you can't actually see statuses. So when you have some of the nicer auxiliary switches with devices that can support it, what you end up with is the device can send a status light or light up a LED on your auxiliary switch to tell you the exact state that it's in. Now, a lot of devices don't support that. So we came up with a fun solution here. What we have is one of our normal MC8 compact side aux switches. This one happens to be six switches. So there are two jacks on the back here to plug in the two Omni ports on your Morningstar device. But what we've also done is incorporated LED lights, a MIDI jack, and a microprocessor inside of this. What we end up with is six auxiliary switches for a Morningstar controller, along with MIDI controllable LED lights. So now you can send and set your own status for your auxiliary switches. So let's get started. Go ahead and power this guy on and he's gonna go through a quick self-test. Show me the MIDI channel he's on and we're ready to go. So if you didn't catch that really quick, the MIDI channel lights up in binary format. So what we have is one, two, four, eight, and 16. Those are all binary bits. We have a documentation on our website that actually talks a little bit more about that. All we need to know for today is it's on channel one. We'll go ahead and reboot this one more time. Self-test, channel one, and we're ready to go. What I have next to me here is my Android phone running Touch OSC. It is a really fun program that allows you to basically design your own control pads. And that's exactly what I've done here to provide a demonstration today. What we have laid out here are basically the core functions. Now all of this can be controlled through MIDI, so you don't have to be using a phone or anything. My phone actually has a little USB jack here plugged into a MIDI adapter on my cell phone and into our control switch here. So each one of these LED lights is individually controllable and it's an RGB light, so you can control it red, green, and blue. On our website, we have it documented how to set the different colors and how to set the different brightnesses. But what it comes down to is each light has 10 control values to control its brightness. And then the actual value you send to those control channels sets the color in a hue mode. Here's a very quick example. What I've done here is program this little top left rotator knob on my phone to send control channel 15 value zero through 127. So as I'm rotating here, you can see where it's rotating through all of the colors. All six of the LEDs are controllable like that. So what you'll see is we can control each and every one of these and set them to different colors. All of the brightnesses are individually controllable. So over here, I just have a quick demonstration of one of the lights and you'll see we can step down in brightness. Now, it's a little hard to capture this on video sometimes, but there's nine steps to the brightness and an off mode. Also, you can control everything at once. So here's me controlling all six lights by sending control channels 70 through 79, and you can control all the brightnesses at once as well. Now I've been pushing a few buttons down here on the bottom of my phone. These are a couple shortcut commands, such as all lights off. We also have the ability to program presets. So a lot of devices accept program change commands to reload presets on them. This controller is no different. What we've done is allowed you to store up to 99 presets in control channels one through 99, or program channels one through 99. So we'll go ahead and just set a fun little color schema here. We send program channel 126 and our little status light here is gonna go white. That means he's ready to program. I'm gonna send program channel one. We'll get a confirmation here and it's done. Now when I recall program channel one, 
there's my lighting schema. You'll actually even see this little guy flashes red and confirms that I just loaded a preset. Now, if you call something up that has no preset, everything just goes black. What I'm gonna do here is just do a factory reset of the controller. There's a button on the back of here that lets us change the MIDI channel, as well as do a factory reset. There we go, we have our white. Doing a quick factory reset, and there's its initialization. And we're back. So, as I mentioned, if you send a program that doesn't actually have a preset, you'll still get a confirmation message of, hey, you tried to load a preset. It loads it, but it's empty. So, I mentioned you can do multiple presets. So we'll go ahead and program this guy to a preset. So we got a nice little bluish green pattern going here. And let's throw some reds and pinks into the next preset. There we go. And what we end up having is here's our first preset. Here's our second preset. You'll notice all six lights are restored when you call a preset. So if you were to say, send a command to your big sky and you wanted this to load a preset and say, okay, big sky, I'm always going to use this auxiliary switch for preset a preset B and preset C. You can tell your big sky to go to a specific preset load a, and then recall a preset on this switch to load up this led light. So as you program these different lights and say, okay, big sky, I want to go ahead and switch to preset B. You would have your MIDI controller both send preset B to the big sky, as well as light up this LED light to let you know that, hey, this is now the active preset. That's all we have for today. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions and keep looking for more products to come.